Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial or a bucket plugin tutorial. Actually, this is kind of technically a spigot plugin tutorial. So um, first off, if you are joining me for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do tutorials like this all the time, at least every Friday, sometimes more like today. So then I also like to tell you guys, if you have a suggestion for a plugin that you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that in the jibbles below or the comment section below. And I'll capture that and give you a shout out once I get to doing that tutorial, which you've seen in, in past ones. I give shout outs for that. However, this one was not actually suggested, but rather a shout out to Black Belt Panda for letting me know about this one. I know a lot of you guys are aware of this, um, but I was kind of wondering... How do you get 1.8 blocks in Spigot and Bugget with all the DCMA and all that junk that's going on? It's kind of at a halt. You can run a Spigot hack like I've done or a Spigot update so you can at least allow 1.8 people to connect to your server, but they can't use any of the blocks. And you can see all around me, got some of the new blocks, and I'm actually running off of the Spigot update. So this is done by a plugin called Carbon. Uh, and it is made by Navid Ko. So go ahead, check it out. Link is in the jibbles. And it's actually pretty straightforward to set up. So there's not much you can go over in-game, actually. So let's hop over and take a look at the configuration file. A couple things I probably should have gone over before we got into the config file. But this does require to be patched to the latest Spigot patch. So with that, you also... To get the Spigot patch, you need to find a place that you can download Spigot Build 1649 and then go through the process of updating that. I have a, a video on how to do that, but they've also re released a GUI to make it much easier for you. However, go ahead and check out that video on how to get that. I can't really help you guys out in finding that. Just go to Google and I'm sure you'll figure it out. So the other thing you need is you need a protocol lib that is compatible with that patched Spigot 1.8. Uh, the li I'll put a link in the jibbles or the description, um, but you know this is basically what you're looking for. And then you have Carbon, and then I have Multiverse just for this example. Couple things to note before we get into it: it does have compatibility issues with DynMap. DynMap will actually stop it from generating all ores. There really is no no way around this. I had DynMap. I tried to mess around with the per world permissions, so to so I thought maybe if it wasn't on the world that was generating 1.8, it'd be fine. No, no ores in sight. Like it was crazy, and I had to restart the world that was running 1.8. So at this time, at the video, this time that the video is posted, DynMap will stop all ore generation, which is kind of a pain in the butt. There is some notes in the in the configuration for MCMO. I've not seen the settings that they tell you to change or the issues that they say that you'll have if you don't change them. I run MC, MCMMO and it runs fine. So I don't know what to tell you guys on that one. Now, if you run something like LWC, which does some block protection, you just need to update to be have the new custom block IDs, which you can find by going in here and going in the config file. So here's a lot of the the items and then the new item IDs, you know, like that's a different ID now. And uh, you basically just need to put all these in. So if you want banners to be protected with LWC, you would just need to put in that item ID in your configuration file. So one thing to note, I mean, this is all pretty straightforward except this section. So you need to put in the worlds that you want 1.8 generation or terrain to be generated in. So by default, already world is is in there, and I just did a test. If you do comma and then the next world, put that in there, and then you have to do a full restart. You can't just do a reload of this. You have to restart your server, and then it'll start generating terrain. Couple limitations of it at this time: it will not generate um, the temples or structures or anything like that. Uh, however, it might get updated at some point. So. The next part to talk about is this uh, protocol blocker. Now, if you run this, 
You can still allow 1.7 clients to connect. However, if they see 1.8 blocks, it will kick them off the server or they just the blocks won't show up. It's kind of crazy. So by default, when you set this pro this this plugin up, it's it's gonna start blocking 1.7 clients using this protocol blocker.yml. How this works is I'll put a link in the in the jibbles for the protocols, and basically each Minecraft version has a different protocol, and so all the 1.7 uh, below 1.710 have uh, the protocol 4. So if you put that in there, it's going to display this message if anybody with that protocol tries to connect. And uh, if you put that one, if they try to connect there, it's going to display that message. So you can remove that and, and allow clients to connect. Like maybe if you have one world that's 1.8. Um, and it's restricted to 1.8 users, but you have other worlds that don't, kind of like how Hypixel does it. This isn't exactly what they use, but this is pretty similar. It's, it's the same concept. Um, but you can allow or block all that stuff. So feel free um, to remove that. It won't actually break anything. However, 1.7 users might have some issues on your server, so that's why it's blocked by default. So let's get back into the game and i'll sh just wrap this all up okay so like i said it's a pretty quick and easy it's there's not a whole lot to go over with this plugin um it's pretty much just get 1.8 blocks if you're running a the spigot uh latest spigot and uh it's pretty sweet we like it we're using it and it seems to work pretty well um couple things to note there like i said already there's no there's no 1.8 structures in it yet and uh, there's no commands like any of the new uh command commands are not in there like titles and and uh, test for and set block and all that stuff still is not in there um and then also one other thing slime blocks don't move other blocks i know a lot of you guys are really excited about that 1.8 still not in there however the author is planning on adding that we'll see if he adds that before spigot actually releases a full 1.8 version but anyway hopefully that'll help you guys out for a little bit this is cause from Re from McFriends reminding you guys all enjoy the game. God bless. What? <laughs> it won't let me pick it up. What do we need for that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just going to be there for a while, I think. <laughs>